She's not moaning, I'm moaning. It's my job to moan. I'm a lovely driver. I'm an expert moaner. I'm alive. everybody welcome back welcome back to another vlog um, slightly better better uh, so you joined me on uh, my way down to down somewhere I just have vacant foot here and it's all in my teeth So I'm not uh, I'm at the services on the M6 toll road and um, I'm heading south. Uh, picked up this trailer up yesterday. Had to have a tire replaced. Uh, so I'll uh, I'll insert insert clip here. Good morning, guys. Afternoon, evening, night, whatever it is, wherever you are. I am Jay, and this is a video. Not done one for a while, so, so I'll do a video. Um, I, I was gonna do, not, I wasn't gonna do the video till tomorrow because I'm quite busy today. Um, I've already done what I don't know what time it is. What time is it? Eleven o'clock, and I've already been up to the port, collected from the port. Um, took that trailer to get loaded. I took another collected from the trailer from the, from the port, got loaded from somewhere else, delivered that to customer. Um, reloaded come back to the, a different port so i've just tipped my trailer or dropped my trailer at the port now i've picked another one out for delivery for witness which is not too far uh then i'm going over to manchester picking up from manchester and running down south to uh portsmouth or somewhere like that um but i've got a flat tire well not got a flat tire i've got a dodgy tire um so I've, i just thought i'd show you on the video um it's a potential blowout if you ignore it so I'll, uh, I'll show you what it's like. So as you can see, the trailer is, you know, it's like brand new anyway. It's, it's factory, factory. It's a new tire. And where's it gone? It's this tire there. Not really, can't really see it here, but when it's not so bright, it's, uh, it's thread underneath it that's damaged just caused it to pop out so it doesn't look that bad but it's a potential blowout and it's not worth the risk plus that tire looks a bit old and crappy anyway so why not so i'm just waiting for a guy to come out and fix it now and replace it all the other tires are good though um i did wonder why someone had circled that well i can't see anything there so yeah, I think the rest of them are all right. But yeah, I thought I'd uh, show you the tank. I've started doing that this bit here, not with anything, not with anything, uh, no polish. I've used WD-40 and uh, as you can see, I've just done like a little line as a tester. So I've used WD-40 on it and uh, some Brasso or Silvo, both they do the same thing really. So it's, it's very pitted, it's really bad. Uh, so I'm gonna have to get sandpaper on this. Separate video for that. I just wanted to give it a try and see, see if we can just get some of the crap off there. A uh, bit of elbow grease, but it is coming off. Um, I've ordered a air powered uh, buffer polisher. Anyway, I'm gonna get some cutting compound on it. Some like car polish cutting compound and just something quite abrasive to try and get that down. I just want to clean it up. I mean, the catwalks, I did a little bit there as well, but you see the catwalk, it's bashed, it's dented, it's full of fifth wheel grease. Um, so, yeah. Uh, that's about it, really. I'm gonna repaint the wheels, um, but not not before Truck Fest. So I will, I will see you at Truck Fest if you're coming. 
uh, end of August. Um, this truck will be here as well. Needs. I've only just taken over this truck, so it's it needs a really, really good clean. Um, it's not too bad. Uh, the interior by the previous driver was, was clean, so it's not too bad. Uh, if I can remove that four sticker and stick it around the back out of the way, I'll do that. Um, but it needs a good polish. Uh, it's got scratches down there. Uh, I might just get some plasti dip on that and see if I can get it white to look, look the same. Or just some touch up, little touch up paints. Uh, it has a hole there. <laughs> Seems to be perfectly square. Ah, I think it's got. That's what is that where the towing eye goes? So there's a cap missing from there. I thought it was a hole, just like a broken hole. Ah, it's not too bad then. I see if I can find a cap for that. Yep. So there, there we go. It's got, it's got a, just a cap missing. I thought it. I thought it was literally someone took a hammer to it or something. But uh, yeah, it looks like there's just a cap missing. Uh, so I'll, I'll get all I'll get all the truck nice and clean uh, over this next two weeks, and hopefully it looks a bit presentable when we get there. Um, might do the wheels beforehand if if I've got enough time, if the weather's all right, etc., etc. So it'll just be a paint job, just like a, I don't know Monday or silver or something like that, or whatever it was on there originally. It seems to give it a good sand down as well, so. It won't be an amazing job. It'll look all right from a distance, but nothing, nothing like no uh, show truck. That's for sure. So anyway, yeah. So uh, what I'll probably do is just take off the video, uh, take off on the video, take off on the video. We'll just carry on the video tomorrow now. Uh, hopefully, when I've had a shave, I need to go and pick up some more shaving foam. I forgot my shaving kit. I've got my razors, but I forgot my uh, shaving foam. So. Uh, it's in the car. If we can get back to the yard tonight, I don't need to go by anymore. So yeah, happy days. So yeah, right, we'll see you tomorrow. Uh, we'll get going down south. Uh, go left on the roundabout and take the say. first exit, M6, then keep left. Shut up. I don't have one of the new shiny Tom Toms. Keep left, then take the motorway. I actually didn't want one. Um, I, I, I signed up sign up well I was offered one and I filled in the contracts and I read the contracts I didn't fill in the contracts I signed the NDA and then uh, I read the contracts Follow and I thought, M6 towards the south for eight nah, miles. stopping me that what's wrong with just giving me the Tom Tom and say give us your honest opinion you didn't say lie but they are trying to steer uh, what information you give so I just didn't have one. Just, just didn't um, so I might have to go and buy one of these, one of these uh, Garmin's. I don't think Garmin do free promos, but uh, I'll just go and buy one and uh, give that a good review. Because uh, no, no doubt Tom Tom are going to be pushing their uh, tap labs at the moment for the new one being out. I believe it's all right. It's quicker. Nothing groundbreaking or anything like that. Groundbreaking to the right word, if you know what I mean. Anyway, I've got on uh, a shed load of uh, Pringles and, and cereal. I never knew uh, the Pringles were made by Kellogg's. I do now. So I parked at the services last night on the toll road, so which means I get the toll road for free. So, I've got the receipt there, so I need to uh, jam the button when I get to the toll booth, speak to somebody. Uh, so the first drop is Reading, and the second drop is um, Portsmouth. It's a PO postcode, so I think that's Portsmouth. And I've stopped baking on my tooth. Just annoying me. It's quite busy the toll road this morning for this summer day. Okay, I love that when that happens. You indicate, and the car behind you sees you indicated, and immediately gets to the side of you, and you're like, Let's move over one more. Anyway, I'm not moaning. Not moaning. <laughs> so, 
so I don't know what I've got after this. Um, but the reason, the reason I've, I've slightly, kind of slowed down and stopped doing videos for, for a while is um, boring, if I'm honest. Uh, I mean, every every person is doing the same stuff. Um, when I first started doing it, there was uh, there was Luke Vernon, the Rock God. He's still doing it. Good bloke, actually. Um, Ned Kelly. Uh, so there's only about five of us doing it really then, so it wasn't too, it wasn't too saturated, but now everyone, everyone's doing videos. And then everyone's kind of, it's kind of the same format, you know. Um, I picked up cues from Luke Vernon, Rock God, whatever. Um, and then add my own little things to it. And then, then someone else comes along and they kind of do something similar to you and add their little things. There's that many things now, there's that many people doing it, it's just like, it's boring. I, I used to get messages saying your videos are boring. They're all the same, you're all, you're all the same. Well, yes, if everyone's copied off everyone, it's all the bloody same. <laughs> so, uh, I knocked on doing the, like, the daily vlogs, just kind of knocked it on the head. So, um, I'm going to go back to uh, how I used to do the videos when I, when I first started. Um, more informative so it's more but more based on people who've been out of the industry for a while and just want to pick up a few things or for someone who's coming into the industry brand new so that's the way I'm gonna do it I'm gonna uh, so I, I might do a few vlogs like like today don't know how long this vlog's gonna be don't know how interesting it's gonna be it is what it is so, uh, well, we'll just see what happens. I'm not promising loads of videos. I'm not promising no videos. <laughs> so, yeah. And that's where we're up to on the, on the, on the Chucker J video situation. Uh, I've knocked on uh, the, I've got the memberships on his head. I'm not doing memberships. Um, I just don't feel like it's putting out value for money. Jesus, mate. Do you know the towing speed? You obviously don't. With four totes full on the back. <laughs> um, so yeah, anyway, I'll stop waffling crap and we'll just, we'll just get on with the day. I've got like, this GoPro charge a bit. I can't touch it because um, it's... Um, the, the wire is delicate. Oh, just stopped for a quick coffee and uh, spotted that lot. He's giving me the eye. Is he also smoking inside that? Uh, he's doing an e cig inside that van. Inside government property. I'll grass the bastard up. <laughs> no, I won't really. He's doing his job. Right, let's get out of here before. Uh, they spot me and think, ah, let's let's pull this YouTuber over. Anyway, I've got what I've got on now. Is I've got food on today. So Fair I'm delivering left, to. Then. Shut up! For God's sake! So I've got food on, I'm delivering to Cash and Carries. Go on mate, go on Green, what's going on? Have you broke down? What? What's, go what's going on? The lights have changed cycle now, what, what are you doing? What's going on? Turn 
Turn left, M40, then take the motorway. This one's reversed because he's turned the wrong way, so they're getting on the motorway, coming off the next junction and turning back round. Nuggets. So I'm just sat in my uncomfortable passenger seat. Does it go back any further? It's not really a little bit, it's not a real seat though, it's kind of, it folds up like a, like a jump seat from an aeroplane. Um, so I'm on the loading bay, there's a small pallet, I think it's like some kind of cereal bars, only like two or three stacks high, small boxes like that, and uh, it collapsed, it's just slid about. They've hardly used any shrink wrapping on the, uh, on any of the products like just undoing the straps at the front towards the front of the trailer and some of them um, just where it's rubbing on the next pallet along has just disintegrated the uh, the wrapping so I suspect that's what's happened then they've gone everywhere but anyway I've been here for like 14 years now so I've not even loaded the loading dock onto it yet um, so I don't know how long it's going to take but there's 27 pallets to come off and I'm just waiting for the kettle to boil because I'm going to have a pot noodle for my dinner. Uh, there's not a lot to do really, really. Um, I need to put my stuff on charge because after so many hours the truck will turn off power to... Is that one work? It'll turn off power to um, all the sockets and the power to the windows and stuff like that, so we'll have to see what happens with that. Hopefully I'm not waiting here for too long. Uh, yeah, bored, 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 bored. Not a lot you can do. Anyway, check back in with you when I'm unloaded. It's only parts, it's 27 parts coming off, and I think this. And we've got for the next load, and I've got 22 for the next, which is in Southampton. 22 pallets. Finally, can go to the bay. Oh, nowhere. Uh, I got it. I got it nine. 920, 915 and uh, the time now is 12.40 so uh, it's been a while every time, Luke, Luke's he was here not too long ago and his was the same so the next one's Southampton but um, it's a four o'clock drop. I'm gonna get there at two o'clock. You will arrive at your destination at two p.m. What are you beeping at? Never mind. I'll deal with the nowhere where the where the where the, where the, where the truck stops. Like so then I've definitely got nowhere. <laughs> so I'm just gonna move here out of the way. I think it's a one way. This. Just close the back doors, and uh, well. Uh, bugger off also uh, before I forget the code for truck fest if you're going to go to Peterborough 20% discount is truck fest no it's not the, t the code is TF standing for truck fest 20 2020 uh, and that's 20% off so um, yeah use that code what's that noise there's It's a bit warm in here now. I've, I've literally had a few hours sleep. Uh, I mean, I feel great. <laughs> I've just After been paid to have a Go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, A3290, towards Walkingham. 
Classic FM, what's all that about? Ah, so th this one I'm going to now, I thought, I thought it was the Go tricky one, on the but it's not. And take the first exit, Mauritania Road, then bear right, Majestic Road. Could be, could be anywhere down here really, because uh, there's a lot of places. I do, I do deliver down here sometimes. Uh, for stuff going to the Isle of Wight. There, right, then you have reached your destination. There's a lot of meaches. This is where I normally take stuff to that meaches. After 200 yards, you have reached your destination. Have I? Don't believe you. Uh, I'm looking for one stop. Oh, hang on a minute. Just making sure it wasn't that Meachers and it's going to the Isle of Wight or something. You have reached your but destination, right Majestic Road. Do you have to queue to get in? What's going on here? Uh, good to good to in. Park on the right, enter by foot. Okay. So I think you have to go and queue up with these ones here, maybe. Are you waiting to go in there, mate? Yeah. In the, so is there a queue to go in, yeah? Yeah, uh, he'll sit right over there, mate. Yeah. I think he's got to go in now. Oh, is he? Right. Yeah, I'll, I'll move up and then... Well, uh, I wait. weren't sure I didn't want to just drive in and be that knobhead. Yeah. <laughs> you've got to back it in as well. You're going to back it in? Yeah. Nice. Uh, Not. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Chap, chap, he made him sound an old. That he was only young. But where can I spin it? Where can I spin it round? I'd like to spin it here, but uh, I don't have a camera out there. Well, give it a whirl. We'll see what happens. Happy days. We'll do a bit of uh, parking on the curb on double yellows. Welcome to truck driving. The companies like this that make us do it though, it's gotta leave it as long as there's room for people to get past. And if you see anyone with a wheelchair or a problem, I'm gonna have to move the truck because that's just not fair. I think this, this one in front, he had a lot of Welsh stuff in there, so uh, I'm thinking it's Welsh. <laughs> and it looked rather swanky in there, actually, it looks quite nice. Right, going by foot. Right, so I need to go and take paperwork, go in there, tell them here, tell them I am here, not I am I'm here. <sighs> Another place I've been waiting forever. Part of the job, not moaning, I'm moaning. It's my job to moan. I'm a lobby driver. I'm an expert moaner. Uh, so I've been here for about 45 minutes now. That, that lad who's in front of me, he's gone in there. He's still on the bay now. It was quite tight to get on there, to be honest. Um, so, I've got about the same amount as him, and he's been in there for ages, so... It's going to probably take a while to get offloaded. I'm going to head over to South Wales next, Neath, and um, reload there. Oh, it's done, I think. 
I hear an engine. So reload there, and then uh, head over to Scotland. Just gonna build it, just building my air up. Then they have to come out and get you out first. Yeah, before he said, yeah, you got booked in. Have you not booked in yet? No. Ah! <laughs> He's, that, that driver's come all the way from uh, Ipswich. He's only a day driver. Uh, the one I was talking to on the right then. Only a day driver. I don't think he's going to get back tonight. right. But wow, look how pretty this truck stop is here. Cool. It's not even a truck stop. It's a, uh, just a services. I just popped in, I'm at random services, just popped in to get a coffee because I know it's non-stop driving now in the rush hour traffic, I say rush hour, it's just full of everyone going on holiday. So uh, I need to get to where I'm going before eight, well, before nine o'clock. I'm not gonna have time After to load yards, the trailer. Turn left, M27. So I'm gonna ask them, I think my office is already asking for, uh, cause size that pothole. Jesus. Mariana's trench. Uh, so I'm gonna see if I can uh, just drop the trailer, get it loaded, pick it up in the morning. I've got to be in Scotland for five o'clock tomorrow afternoon. So uh, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. So uh, I'll tell you a little story later. I remember. I'll start it. I'll tell you now. The uh, that that drop that delivery I just did then. Um, I was at, I got to the front of the queue and. He said, oh yeah, just uh, just reverse in there, down there. And I'd already seen the yard, there's quite a lot of trailers, these, these pallets, there's this, yards, this skip, take the exit, you know, this, four, M3, there's a few obstacles the in there, there's a few places in the trailer that they might want me to be. So I said, alright, well, wh where, whereabouts? He goes, oh, I'll direct you in. I said, yeah, I'm just wondering, I just want to get a picture in my head. If the trailer is going left, right, straight down, he goes straight down, I went, right, okay, right, that's what I was asking. But he was, the way he was saying it, it was like it was a bit... It was a, you could tell he was just like a knobhead. Um, and then this other guy pipes up. No, he never, he never gave me a bay number, he just said reverse into the yard. Uh, come on, sat that wake up. And, uh, and the other guy pipes up, he goes, well, if you would have read the sign, it tells you exactly where you should go, but you, if you couldn't be bothered to read it. I never pointed out to the fact, to, the, to this idiot, that um, I was never told a bay number. I was just told to reverse in. Uh, so yeah, a big ex, a big hoo ha, and he's like, so I call him a toss. He calls me a toss, a wanker, whatever. And then he's, he goes like with his fist. I said, "What you, what, you want to punch me? Do you?" He goes, "No, no." Anyway, um, he give me shit. I give him back. I'm not, you know, I'm not going to lose sleep over it. Not, I wasn't angry over it either. Um, he just kept piping up. I was like, I've like, got nothing to do with you. Anyway, um, so that, that was that. And we sat and I've decided to stop drawing the line where I'm supposed to go. Well done, Tom Tom, well done. You don't recommend a good Garmin? I don't know if I'm supposed to stay. I think I'm supposed to stay right. Anyway. So that's yeah, a bit of a hoo ha there. And then obviously the 
they did the obligatory uh, keep me waiting for even longer uh, because their ego was slightly bruised. So that's pushed me back. Uh, the driver behind and the driver behind the driver behind me I'm talking to he, he's come from uh, where did he come from Ipswich. Uh, he's only day driver, so good luck for him to get back. Uh, the driver behind him has come from Durham, so. Not short distance as everyone's come um, to be greeted by Nobed 1 and Nobed 2. It was a bit. It was a bit uh, standoffish when uh, like I was just stood there waiting to get the paperwork and he just walked over. But we, he, he could just tell he was in a mood. After 800 yards, keep right. I had no problem with him, I didn't say anything. No, I, I just thought, oh, it looks like he's in a mood. Never, never reacted, never said anything, you know. He just stood right way outside. But a little bit rude, but we'll leave, you know, leave it at that. So yeah, that was right. it. Is it drawing lines? No, it's not drawing. It's not drawing any lines on the map. So I'm just gonna, just gonna guess where I'm gonna go. <laughs> M3. Get up to the M4. Um, the A34's chocker. The A303's chocker. I was gonna follow M3 towards the Midlands. For 7.5 miles. On Kepti's advice, I was going to head towards Taunton, which probably would have been a better idea, but uh, put it in the sat nav, it had an extra hour and 10 minutes. And I spoke to the driver, two drivers behind, and he'd just come down a 303 and he said he was knackered, so that's why I'm going this way. Um, plus, I reckon if this wasn't the best way, the sat nav would have found the other way for me. So anyway, yeah, just got my coffee. Uh, use the facilities. I needed a piss. Get that gone. And the driving time today, I've, I've got loads. What have I done so far? I've only used four hours and seventeen minutes of driving. Uh, so I've still got four and a half hours of driving left. <laughs> it's going to take three hours, three and a half hours to, to get where I'm going. It did say two and a half hours earlier, but obviously, stuff. Anyway, I'll stop waffling. Do you reckon we'll make it? Do you reckon we'll make it to uh, Neath tonight in South Wales to uh, to get loaded? Do you think we'll make it to Livingston on time? Tune in next time to find out. Kind of stuff to do on Stobart trucks and trailers, isn't it? Make everything sound like dead dramatic. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll leave it. Leave it on a cliffhanger. <laughs> I might just record it and only show it at truck fest. <laughs> so I think at truck fest, by the way, um, which is the week after next, next. Not this weekend, the weekend after, yeah, next weekend. Um, I think we are in the atrium or outside the atrium. I think we, I think the trucks are outside the atrium. Uh, but we've got a stand and we've got something inside, I don't know. I'd rather be outside if I'm honest. Um, because I don't know if, you, if you've ever met us at, uh, at the truck fest. In the evening time, when all, everyone's gone home, but it's just the people who are staying there at Truck Fest, camping out or in the trucks or whatever. We like to get our tunes out and um, have a bit of a party. Bring your own beer. Because not everybody wants to go to the stage. Um, so yeah, last last time at Peterborough, that me and Kev T was up till about three or four in the morning. And they're just random as like, we just dragged random in, we didn't drag them in, but like random as just saw us there with the, with the lights still going and the music still playing and you could see them stopping and they're like, yeah, come over mate, get a beer out of the fridge. So, it's good fun. Uh, and then, it's usually me or Kev that was up about six, seven in the morning, goes and gets breakfast. Rinse and repeat. It's a long, it's a long weekend this time, it's three days. Um, it's, I think it's the Friday, Saturday and Sunday. It's a good super, super Friday, Super Saturday, I don't know what to call it, Super Sunday, I don't know what to call it, but anyway. Yeah, it's a longer one. So if, you, if you're coming down, especially if you're camping, 
Do you have to pay to? I don't know if you have to pay to camp. I don't know. I mean, I've seen people just whip out tents before and just put behind trucks, so. <laughs> In fact, that's what I did at Devon Truck Show a couple of weeks ago. Put up a tent behind Luke's truck, I think, or Scott's truck. Right, if I don't catch you later, I'll see you on the next one. Oh, hang on, what's them, say, what's them sayings now? Uh, cheers, 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 toodles. Don't know what the other two say.